This is too aesthetically pleasing and just too fancy. This is not your house. Fancy? So fancy. <laughs> this is not your house and it has good lighting. We're at a hotel. Yes, we are. We're still in Florida. We're just at a hotel in Florida. That's right, because we're going to the Springs tomorrow. Yeet. So, we sometimes do this, and that's actually, I'm, see what I'm doing? I'm being smart, I'm segueing into our topic. We sometimes do this. We used to do this a lot more. You'll see our results. Are we still us. in Florida? Yes, we're still in Florida. Sometimes we go stay at a hotel for a weekend, yeah. have a mom and son's adventure, and have a good time. Because why not? Yeah, because there's a lot of great places to road trip here in Florida, so we like to get away every once in a while. So, uh, we have quite a few stories throughout them. Most of them are just generic. It was a good hotel, or the good hotel was also like a postal museum. That was a cool one. The hotel was meh. Uh, okay, the, the actual, hotel was meh. The actual, like, hotel the, was the, lame. Good. The breakfast place was bomb. Yeah. Like, because they had a, like a restaurant in the hotel yeah but the hotel also doubled as a post office museum and they had some of the oldest postal equipment in existence and it was very weird and it all so there was like a museum it was interesting so we're not going to be talking about that since that's basically the end of that story a parkside prison episode came out and i watched it on the Pull out couch. Uh, I had a red yeah. blanket. Anyways. That's the whole story. That is we went to the spring, so we went to a different spring. The whole story. So. Whole story. Today we're going to talk about a creepy experience because the amount of times we've randomly gone out to a muse Not a muse A hotel. A hotel. Now I am confuzzled to a hotel. He's confuzzled. I'm not touching you. I'm not touching you. To a hotel, uh, there would obviously be something creepy. Because I attract demons. <laughs> demons? <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> no, but I am a ghost magnet. I'm going to leave, leave a link to a video I did about that on my second channel. Self-promo who? Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> so we went to this, um, no, I almost said museum. Hotel. Uh, where was it? It was in Cocoa Beach, right? Cocoa Beach. Yeah, Cocoa you're Beach, right. Florida. And this we hotel were... was legit haunted, y'all. Yo, we're about to tell you. It was like a splash pod place, but like, okay, so we went into this room. It was a pretty nice room. There was like a bunk, a bunk bed. Yeah, there was like, a, this is actually part of the story. There was like a separate thing that had like a curtain. It was like two bunk beds on each side. Yeah, it was like a little kids area with a TV and, the thing little, is, and paintings on the wall. The thing is, there were literally like, like little hole things in the wall. They weren't exactly just holes, but they were things. And okay, first of all, this hotel itself was looked like a time capsule. Okay, it was like it literally looked like it came right out of like 1958, 1959, and they hadn't updated it hardly at all. Yeah. Like it was really retro. This hotel, like super duper retro. And if you've ever been down in Cocoa Beach, you know that that's like a thing there. But like this hotel was dated. And these whole things in the wall that he's talking about were actually a, it was like a speaker, yeah, right? Yeah, for the top and bottom bumps. So that you could, it was almost like a built-in to the wall walkie-talkie. Like you see a playgrounds. Right. You see a playground, there's like these little things that have like tubes that go underground and you talk to people. It, yeah, sort of, but it was more like a speaker setup. It was like a walkie-talkie from yeah. top bump to bottom bump. So the thing is, they weren't supposed to work. This is where the story gets kind of creepy. Arthur was on the other bunk bed. He wasn't on the one I was on. I was at the top of one. I think he might have also been at the top of one. Maybe. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but I was laying there, and Arthur wasn't under the thing, so it couldn't have been him. And these things weren't supposed to work, and I just started hearing, like, breathing coming from the stereo. Okay, and the thing is, normally, I would be like, eh, sure you did, kid, but, like, Legitimately, I heard it too, for one. And for two, that was not even the only creepy thing that happened in this room. Do you remember? I remember we got phone calls. Yeah, we kept getting phone calls throughout the night with breathing sound. Yeah. It was... And there was like, at 2 o'clock in the morning, the sound of children's laughter. 
I don't know where it was coming from. Yeah, because, like, t children that small are not out at 2 a.m., all right? They just aren't. That's just not. It was. It's just not. I was really, I felt uncomfortable in the room because there was, like, definitely, and just the room felt weird. Didn't it feel weird? It felt weird. It felt weird, man. Like, definitely, definitely some weird spirit stuff going on I in that feel hotel. like we had an encounter. <laughs> Alright, so, we had an encounter. Encounter. I, I actually agree with you. Like, it was it was too weird to just dismiss. That was weird. And also... I, and I mean, I'm a witch, so I would definitely be remiss if I was just like, ah, that wasn't nothing. Also, can we just talk about how cold the water was? Like a splash pad? Oh, yeah. Like, our lips so, were turning okay, blue. The, the reason that I got this hotel room is because they had an enormous splash pad. Yeah. With, like, a, a giant pirate ship. Yeah. That was, like... So cool, but it was the water. It was so cool. Was, it was yeah. It was so. Oh, I. The water was freezing. That didn't stop them though. Yeah, our lips yeah. were turning blue. It was fun. My blue boys. <laughs> My little blue boys. The blue man group. Like the little, little, little Smurfies. The little Smurfs. I was literally about to say little Smurfs. Mm-hmm. Or like that one alien guy from that one movie that's like blue and he has like a beard. No, I'll, I'll find the picture. That one guy from the one movie. I'll put that a picture. Was, I'll, all right. I'll put a picture. I believe you. In the video. So, anyways, that was our encounter. This hotel room is lit. Okay, like it's got two separate rooms and we have a jacuzzi tub and the bathroom is like handicap accessible. You should be the spokesperson. What hotel is this? Uh. Comfort Inn. Comfort Inn. In Gainesville, Florida. Not sponsored, but like... Yeah, this place yo. is pretty great. Comfort Inn in Gainesville, yo. Florida. Yo. Yo. Shout out. This hotel does not feel haunted, although we did find a weird compartment underneath the jacuzzi. It might have demons in it. He said that after he opened it. And then I was like, well, thank you for... Well, I didn't know it was in it. <laughs> <laughs> well, apparently... I just saw like a large demons. tunnel that like... It was like a tunnel, and I was like... If there is a secret door, Tyler will find it. Yeah. He's kind of creepy like Not that. Not inaccurate. <laughs> <laughs> He's kind of creepy like that. So anyways, thanks for joining us. Thanks for joining us. Like and subscribe. Like and do that. My son's real cool. Watch his videos. That's nice. What, we just like multiplying the amount of fingers you're having here? Yeah. All of them. Jazz hands. Do you not know my outro? Come here. We're going to do the outro. Arthur, come here. Ugh. Arthur, come up here. <laughs> stay, stay derpy. Stay, stay murpy. Stay, stay hydrated. hydrated.